Go. Okay, so good afternoon, and today what we're going to be talking about is the microscope and how to use it. So you're going to be using two different kinds of microscopes in the lab today. You're going to be using the stereo microscope, also sometimes called the dissecting microscope, and you can see that right here. And the thing about the dissecting microscope is that you have one set of lenses. That's your oculars. That's these lenses here. You don't have objectives here. And notice that you don't have a stage that's suspended here. Your stage is right here. So when you look at this, you're going to get some magnification, but you're going to uh, not be able to see quite as much as you can with a compound microscope. And the reason that this is not called compound is there's not two sets of lenses, all right? So with this, you still have two oculars, and it's important that you move the oculars back and forth, and you can see how they move back and forth based on the distance your eyes are apart one from another. So when you look into a binocular uh, set of oculars, you're gonna put your face right here, and you're gonna have the bridge of your nose very close to the edge of where the oculars are. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out, you may see just black, so then push in push in the oculars and now I see white but there's like a line in it it's like I have to move my head back or forth what I want to do is keep pushing until I see one circle your eyes should not be touching the uh, oculars themselves so notice the distance my eyes and my face are from the microscope that's very important okay so now what I'm going to do is show you this microscope we'll move this one out of the way and focus now on this microscope. This microscope is a compound microscope. There's a few of these. These are a monocular, but this is still an, a, um, part the, a microscope or a lens. And then also you see we have objectives, okay? So this is a compound microscope. We have a mechanical stage, all right, that we see here. Um, and we can move this back and forth. Here we then have our condenser down here. And we're gonna look at a different microscope for all of us or for all of these things but what we see here is just a single um, ocular okay um, and so in some cases we'll be using this and uh, but it's still a compound scope the bulk of what I'd like to see you guys using in terms of your compound scopes are right here and so what we see here is again our binocular there are two eyepieces this again is a lens our objectives which are here each of these objectives is a lens so we have a 4x and we have a 10x and we have a 40x the 100x isn't here the 4x is often called the scanning objectives and this is always where you begin you always start with your microscope on this objective and when you're done with your microscope you always return it to this objective okay and then you see here again this mechanical stage so you can put your microscope right here and if you look underneath here you can see right here the uh, mechanical part and if you move this back and forth it'll move on an x and a y plane that will allow you then to move your slide so that you can see um, all parts of it also under here you'll notice the condenser that's this structure right here and what this condenser does is just exactly what its name implies it condenses the light so that it makes a cone of light that's going narrowing up and going right through the sample and so with the condenser what you're going to do is once you put your slide on you're going to adjust it so that the intensity of the light is just exactly where it needs to be to be right where it's giving you the most uh, magnification if it's too low, the light will be spread out and you won't have the correct amount of magnification. If it's up too close to the slide, it'll be too tight and the light will be too bright and it'll wash out. You still won't be able to see. So this condenser and where it is is very important. Generally speaking, it's going to be most of the way up and then you have and can adjust over time on this condenser. Notice you have this little, this little flap. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's here. This is the iris diaphragm, and what this does is open and close uh, a door 
that allows for more or less light to pass through a little hole. So it's kind of, it's named after the iris of your eye. So you have a little pupil and light can go in and out and your iris closes or opens allowing more light, more or less light through. And that's the same thing we've got here. Then finally down here at the bottom, this is the light source and this can be turned on. The switch that turns it on is in the back, all the way in the back. And so my, my uh, camera crew is gonna come back here and look at this switch. Here it is right here. You can see it. And then here's the dial that turns the light up and down. And I can tell right away whether somebody knows what they're doing with the microscope because if they turn it on and the light is like blaring bright, then, then they don't know what they're doing. We're gonna start with a fairly low light and then work our way up because it's if you use a really super bright light it's just like when you're driving at night and a person has their brights on it blinds you you can't see the last thing on this side for us to look at is right here and this is the coarse and the fine focus okay and so as we turn this up and down it allows us to get the focus now when we're on a scanning objective we're going to get the focus in okay and then when we move to the next objective we aren't going to need to use the coarse object or the coarse uh, um, focus. We're just going to use the fine focus because it should move and not go that far out of focus. Okay, and so we'll use then the fine focus to get where we want to be. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about these oculars because I want to focus on this ocular one more time. I'm going to let my camera crew get back in position here before I do this. Okay. And again, what we want to see, and I'm looking at this, I have my face notice in the same position, and I have moved these pieces so that I can see just one circle, but sometimes it looks kind of like it's uneven, it's floating, it might even almost make you seasick or nauseous, and the reason for that is, if you look at these oculars, you can see if you mess with them, they twist back and forth, and and what it does is it moves the lens either closer to the, um, the machine or further away. And what's really happening is you're focusing. We, our eyes all focus differently and they don't focus the same. So once you get where you can see just one circle of light, what you wanna do is adjust these pieces so that you can see one even plane. And that allows then your eyes to be, this scope is now perfectly adjusted for your eyes. If someone else comes along and they wanna look through your microscope, they may need to adjust the pieces and then adjust the eyes. So now it's adjusted for their eyes, okay? It's important that you be able to use the microscope appropriately. So while we will be using a camera to take pictures, and that camera will fit into the oculars. If we move over here, my camera crew is gonna come and look at this. So we can see this camera is gonna fit right into the oculars to take a picture on the computer. While it's true that we're going to be doing that, each of you needs to sit down and be able to get into focus your slides because that's gonna be a tool you're gonna to use not only in the future in this class, but in other classes. So I hope this uh, helps you get to know your microscope, and I encourage all of you to make sure that you know how to use this tool. And with that, I wish you a wonderful and happy afternoon. Thank you.